Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what your person is thinking or feeling about you, what their intentions or next actions will be towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. And let's just jump right into your reading for Pisces. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please for Pisces regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time what do we need to know what do we need to know spirit about what this person is thinking feeling about Pisces what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings intentions towards Pisces what do we need to know all right Pisces we have the Sun okay Wow, the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. Wow. Uh, okay, why am I hearing that? I heard Moon and Stars. <laughs> it's like you're the Moon and Stars to someone, I guess. Like a lot of emotions here. Um, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like this is someone that has deep feelings for you. And the Two of Cups, you know, this is a strong connection. The sun, again, I, I got that energy of like the moon and stars, you know, it's it's like you are, you light up this person's world or they're very happy when they think about you or you made them very happy in the past. I get the sense, Pisces, this person thinks you're very special, unique in some way. It's like maybe they are not used to feeling about people this way, but for you, this is how this person feels bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups some sort of departure walking away in the past in the recent past maybe you walked away from this person or this person walked away from you regardless of who walked away from whom there's still a lot of feelings that this person has towards you pisces okay let's get some more insight here and tell me more spirit about this person's thoughts feelings energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Sudden realization. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. Okay, so maybe this person's just not realizing. And the sun could also be a card about clarity, radiance. What you see suddenly, you know, it's like the sun illuminates everything. But maybe they're also just realizing that this is how they feel towards you, Pisces. What else do we need to know? Restoring balance. Balance is being restored. So this person's potentially thinking about restoring the balance here, fixing something, having harmony and stability again. What else? What else do we need to know for Pisces? Hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives. So I feel like this person could be wearing a mask. Um, they could be in denial over their feelings or just hiding how they truly feel from you. Bottom of the deck, we have second chances. So yeah, I feel like with restoring balance and second chances, this person could be wanting to resurrect something that is, you know, dead or wanting to reconnect with you have a second chance with you fix things with you repair things with you etc etc et there's so many ways you can interpret this energy what else do we need to know about this person what else do we need to know about this person what else oh mysterious enigmatic and mystifying oh yeah they're being secretive this person they're not being open about how they feel even though what i'm seeing here on the board is like they know what they feel they just haven't shared it with you what else do we need to know about this person grounded balanced and rational another card about balance and look um, i didn't do this on purpose but <laughs> um, when i was designing these cards i love stacked rocks for some reason 
Um, so when I was thinking about this grounded energy, I thought of stacked rocks again. So I just think it's very interesting that we have two very similar energies here. I think this person is hoping for stability with you, for things to just kind of line up the way that they're hoping. Bottom of the deck, warm, kind, and affectionate. This is so King of Cups energy. Um, I think this person has a lot of like tender feelings towards you, Pisces. Maybe you're a very warm and affectionate person. Maybe you were really kind to this person. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like when they think about you, they think about someone that they care about a lot. Okay, it just started raining, so hopefully you can still hear me clearly <laughs> throughout this reading. I just hope there's not a lot of like thunder or lightning because then I'll lose power and that's never fun when you're filming. All right, any other insight guidance that we need to know, Spirit, about these energies? What do we need to know for Pisces? Let's get some clarity here. Let's start with the sun. What do we need to know about this? Okay. Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. This is definitely like this mysterious, secretive energy. Queen of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Oh yeah, this person is totally hiding the fact that they feel this way, Pisces. I don't know why. I mean, if someone walked away from the other person, maybe you're just not together, you're not in contact perhaps, but it's almost like this person is doing things in secret. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Ah, some of you, this person uh, left you for another individual and being with them just makes them think about you. I think they secretly observe you, keep tabs on you on social media, etc. Others of you, I feel like this person is um, with this queen of wands and queen of pentacles. It's almost like they're really attracted to who you are as a person. I think this person can't help but just keep tabs on you, observe you, see you shine. Yeah, five of cups. This person, they're looking back on the past with regrets. They miss you if they're with someone else or if they left you. They miss you. Um, tell me about the two of cups. What do we need to know about this energy? Tell me about the two of cups. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. This person, um, they have a lot of feelings um, tied to your connection, to the to you. I think they're overwhelmed emotionally when I see these two energies here. Tell me about the Two of Cups. King of Swords. Yeah. I feel like they, um, some of you, this person is secretly like stalking you on Instagram or Facebook or something. But others of you, I feel like this person is realizing that this is not something that they can ignore. Um, yeah, it's it's almost like um like when you have it's like pent up feelings, pent up emotions, like your heart's about to burst, and they know why. It's almost like they have to unload, get something off their chest. Tell me about this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, Justice and then the Queen of Swords. So Libra energy there. I think this person, they have to make things right. Even if they don't get you back, they have to at least apologize or make right things right with you. Let's see what's here. I'm, I have um, my two fingers here on the deck. Strength, Leo energy, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that this person... Um, Okay, I'm getting that they're uh, holding on to you very tightly, almost like in an obsessive way, but it's because their conscience is just, it's not letting them rest. They literally cannot think about anything else. This is all they think about. This is what's like on their mind all the time. This is, this is, this is like, it has a hold on them the way that they feel. For some of you, I want to say that that's not a good thing. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like this person might be just emotionally, I don't want to say like unstable, but all over the place kind of, and it's not fair to another person to deal with that. Okay. I'm getting that. That's for some of you. The fact that they cannot get a handle on their emotions in the right time. It's an issue for this person. It's cost them. 
but they're having sudden realization so hopefully this is a lesson they're learning because the king of cups is a very emotionally mature person tell me about the king of cups although for some of you this is how they see you and maybe they're just trying to get to your level here tell me about the king of cups what do we need to know what do we need to know wow the tower what do we need to know about the king of cups despite what's happened between you yeah the world this person still cares they just you have a hold on this person the past has a hold on them they're not over you they're not over what happened and all they can think about is okay yes there was a lot of upheaval there was a tower but i just want my empress back i want to have a new cycle here i want to have abundance again i want to have um growth again the person that i love again etc etc there's a six of swords at the bottom of the deck and the four of cups and the three of cups some of you this person did leave you for someone else and they they think that now they're they're they've lost their chance forever others of you they think that when they come forward to offer you this cup you're not going to be interested it's like you're not interested in a reunion you're not interested in reconnecting let me know if that's the case in the comments if this person were to show up again pisces would you even hear what they have to say because i feel like some of you it's over and that's part of the reason this person has been hiding their feelings because they already know how you feel or they they are expecting a certain reaction from you the hermit virgo energy okay so yeah um i feel like this person is very uh, apart from you or like far from you um withdrawn lonely alone and again just thinking of a way out of the predicament they find themselves in when it comes to you because they did something to put themselves in a position where now they could lose you for good let's get some more insight into what they're thinking and feeling can we get some more insight what is this person thinking feeling when it comes to pisces what, are, what is this person thinking feeling i have a lot on my plate what else what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this person i'm heartbroken oh yeah but again, it's like, who do they have to blame for that? What else? What else? What else do we need to know about this person? My heart belongs to you. Yeah. You're the only, you're it. You're it for them. And it's almost like the future is in question. They're being secretive for a reason, this person. Let's see what their intentions are. What are their true intentions towards you? What do we need to know about their next possible action? What is this person's intentions, next possible actions towards Pisces? What is this person's intentions, next possible actions towards Pisces? What is this person? Okay, I'll take this one. Okay, what is this person's intentions, next possible actions? towards Pisces wow the tower again and the seven of wands this is I feel like some of you are resistant to this um it's like you're making it difficult for them in some way and so it's like forcing them to cause a tower that's kind of what I'm getting here there's a queen of cups, but it's for love. This is their intention. It's like, I need to deal with my emotions. This is the best way that I know how. This is the only way that I know how to deal with how I feel. Tell me about the tower. So there could be something sudden, unexpected coming your way, Pisces, with this tower. Tell me about the tower. It could be a revelation. There's the hermit again, Virgo energy. Why the tower? why the tower yeah they've planned this in some way three of swords yeah because they're heartbroken so it's again i feel like it's because of their their inner tor turmoil they're being driven to do this whether it's a good idea or not tell me about the tower this one 
four of wands and two of pentacles yeah six of swords again i think they might show up without telling you surprise i'm here and you're not going to know what to do with this two of pentacles it's like uh i wasn't expecting you what are you doing here i think they're going to tell you i'm heartbroken let's work things out three of pentacles let's work on things let's build a foundation again tell me about the three of pentacles yeah the lovers you are my person you're the one for me gemini energy there and the fool yeah let's start over let's have a new beginning let's let's be together again and i feel like they're going to come off a little bit strong here and maybe you're not going to take it well pisces or it's not the right approach in your eyes something like that I see you very guarded against this person, protective of yourself, protective of your energy. So I don't know if this is going to work out for your person, but they're going to try. I mean, it's a tower, so it's going to be something that you can't ignore. And I think that's the key. For some reason, this is the way that they feel they have to go about things in a way that you cannot ignore. That'll makes sense to some of you watching can i get one more energy for this person that pisces is hazard will be dealing with for, what do we need to know about this person's energy towards pisces towards this connection what do we need to know i have been living in denial mm. maybe they thought that they'd be able to just move on with their life not be affected by what's happened the grass wasn't greener on the other side at the bottom of the deck. Let's get one more. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Pisces? What else do we need to know? I'm really sorry for all of the pain that I have caused. Okay. Again, I mean, a lot of remorse here. And bottom of the deck, I don't have the courage to face you. This is the real problem, I feel. They're hiding for a reason. It's because they don't have the courage to face you, Pisces. For, you know, maybe because of their own actions. Maybe because of the pain they've caused you. Maybe because, you know, they're realizing that if they, if they had played their cards better, if they had treated you better, if they had not been living in denial <laughs> all this time, that maybe they would be a lot happier than they are. Because I feel like this person is not happy. They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. And they don't have the courage to face the person that they love the most. So it's a tough situation to be in. Um, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. This is your current, their, your person's current energies. If they resonated, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Um, and it's a way to keep up with all the videos that I post for all 12 signs. Thank you so much to everyone that takes the time out of their day to support what I do by liking and subscribing. It means a lot and it's a free way of supporting me. Um, so thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.